Hey everyone, this is Sam with Team 4Flight, back with another Tip of the Week video, this time on annotating plates and documents. Annotations work exactly the same on both the plates and documents views. With a procedure, airport diagram, or document open, tap the pencil button at the top of the screen to open the annotation toolbar. You have eight different markup tools to work with, a freehand drawing tool, a rectangle tool, an ellipse tool, a line tool, a polygon tool, which connects points and then completes the polygon when you deselect the tool, a polyline tool, which is like the polygon tool but doesn't complete the shape, a text tool, and a sticky note tool. The dotted line box is the selection tool, allowing you to select multiple annotations at once, which can then be grouped, copied, or deleted. You can also undo and redo annotations, delete all the annotations you've made with the clear button, and tap done to save your changes and remove the annotation toolbar. You can also add annotations without opening the annotation toolbar by touching and holding on the screen until a magnifying glass appears, then releasing, which opens a mini toolbar with options to paste from your clipboard, use the ink tool, use the text tool, or create a sticky note. The properties of the annotation tools can be adjusted by tapping the button to the right of the clear button. These include five pages each for color and fill color selection, opacity and thickness sliders, as well as text formatting tools for the text box. If you don't want a fill color for your annotation, you can select the white block with a red diagonal slash to make annotations with a transparent background. If you select a background color other than transparent for the freehand drawing tool, your annotation will be covered by an opaque colored rectangle. Any annotations you make to a plate or document are preserved when the plate gets updated for the next data cycle, provided that the name of the updated plate or document is the same as it was before. When sending a geo-reference plate to the Maps view, which requires a pro subscription, you can display the annotations on the plate allowing you to access crucial information you've put on the plate directly from the Maps view. You can disable this feature by tapping the gear button in the corner of the plate and deselecting Show Annotations, or by going to More, Settings, and deselecting Show Annotations on Map at the bottom of the Map View section. If you want to learn more about plate and document annotations, you can read all about them in the Pilot's Guide to ForeFlight Mobile. And if you have any questions, feel free to send them to team at fourflight.com.